Hey, road trippers. The season has tipped off and is in full swing. Are you using the sleeper app for daily fantasy basketball? We are. You watch and listen to the podcast and Rich and Channing have made their sleeper picks of the week. So get some skin in the game and start playing fantasy basketball on the sleeper app. Turn your basketball knowledge into real money with the sleeper app. It's the ultimate fantasy sports app that can turn game day into payday. Just download the Sleeper app and pick more or less on your favorite players. With more stats than any other fantasy app, just choose two or more of your favorite players from either pregame or live. It's as easy as that. Again, pick more or less from the predicted stats and you could win up to 100 times your money if your picks win. Download and sign up on the Sleeper app today. Use our promo code ROADTRIPPIN and you'll get up to $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. Sleeper is currently operational in over 25 states. Check out Sleeper today. Welcome to this edition of Road Trippin'. Allie Clifton, Richard Jefferson, Channing Fry. All right, guys, let's dive into some truth or trash. I got some good ones. Talking Lakers, Clippers, and the one and only Stephen Curry. Let's stay with Philly for a fun truth or trash. Truth I or like trash. That one. Uh, Tyrese Maxey is a top three NBA point guard. No, no. Trash. Not even. Hey, he's a I, I don't even know if he's a top five. No, I'm not. No, he... He might be at the end of the season. He might be next year. This year, right now, currently, no. I don't think he's top 10. No. John Moran still exists. Hold on. Let's go uh, down the line. Hold on. Trey Young. So you got uh, Steph, Darren Fox. De'Aaron Steph Fox. Curry, James Harden. Dame Lillard. Devin Booker. <laughs> oh, I know. It's weird. Because we got, like, Luca, Luca's Devin a point Luka. guard. We can, we can just call Luca what he is. Luca's a point guard. So is Kyrie a point guard? Shitty this year. Dude, we got to talk about him. He's having a shitty start to the year. Who? Okay. Shea Gilders Alexander. He's uh, not a point. He's a two guard. He's not a point. He's a uh, two guard. What's Kyrie? Oh. Shooting guard. But, but, but. No, but hear me. Trey. At the, wait, oh. wait, wait. At the end uh, of the day, there. At the end of the day, there's there's Tyrese Halliburton, Drew. Tyrese, Drew. Tyrese Halliburton's been balling. This is what I know. I'm just saying, like, yeah, he okay, may, so maybe top the, ten. He, I, I say he's, he's top like, ten to fifteen yeah. is depending on the night. Ten to fifteen. Okay. But okay. on any given night, he's the best. He could be the best player on the floor. That I, I would take Brunson over him. I would take Brunson over him. Um, I think he's the best next to Tyrese Halliburton. I think he's the best new. He's top three best new guard, up and coming guard. What is your love right now with the Pacers? Do I like what they did? I like Tyrese <laughs> Halliburton. I tell people he reminds me how their team plays is really awesome to watch because they play extremely unselfish. And Tyrese Halliburton is like a huge throwback. He doesn't shoot how everyone tells him to shoot. He's always playing with a smile on his face. Like when he has the ball, everyone moves, right? They got my guy TJ McConnell from Arizona there, just the nicest human ever. And I think, honestly, I want to see what Miles Turner does this year. Buddy Heald's been in uh, – <clears throat> ooh, that would be Zach Levine maybe for Buddy Heald. I don't know. Anyways, neither neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm over here. Call me Squirrel. Frams. That's Fry and Shams put together. Froms. Froms. Stop. <laughs> Fro Janowski. <laughs> I'm over here still thinking of point guards. There's there's what a lot. But he is a great mix of youth, energy. He's a hooper. He's like, really good. Really, His stroke, really good. He shot 44% from three last year. And then this year, it's like even if he shoots 42, the <laughs> range and the amount that he's going to do makes him unguardable. He's not one unguardable, but he makes him a problem. It, the problem is he's a compliment to Joel and B, right? When he shoots, Joel's like, "Yeah, go." When he, you know, when they Joel, need him, they need him to go. They need him to go, but he goes within the flow of the system because his energy not not saying energy, his intention for the team seems right, right? It's not like, "Oh, I'm here to get points." It's like, "Yo, I have the opportunity. I'm gonna take it. Here's yours. I'm. I'll screen. I'll come off the bench." Like he's done everything to prove himself a young leader. So he's a keeper. I'd say he's a max player at the end of the year. I agree. Truth or trash? The Clippers will finish the regular season above the Lakers. Oh, truth. Truth. <laughs> Allie, your best player is 39 years old. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look, look. This is the problem. This is the problem. If you take the Lakers, you guys act like if you take the Lakers and Clippers. If you take the Lakers and Clippers, like the names out of it, and just sit look at those two rosters, like that 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 Clipper roster, while like while both and we're they assuming haven't they have, been healthy. That is factual. Well, Whoa. and the Lakers weren't healthy for two straight years either. Anthony Davis and still Bron, played Bron more games a, than I, those on. The, how can you sit there and I, I, say I, I, that? we're basing this off of health? Every time. Okay, I didn't say that though. I didn't say that though. Uh, okay, so we're I didn't speaking say that, off of if they're a hundred percent healthy. Oh, honestly, I think the, the Clippers, if they're hundred percent healthy, that the question. Drub, okay, hundred percent healthy. Drubbing the Lakers if they no, are hundred percent healthy. I don't think it's close. Stop it. Uh I no, no, no. Anthony stop Davis, it. if he plays like he did in the postseason, the Clippers don't have a fucking answer for him, but they do have a lot. I of also, Richard, let's I play also, this game. Body. Richard, let's play this game. Who's the best person in that series? Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. It's either Kawhi or Braun. I hate this game. <laughs> See, that's okay. Let's just say Kawhi I'm gonna say, or I'm going to no, say. No, Rich, play the game. Play the game. I like I'm it. I'm going to say Braun. Okay. Then and Kawhi, Kawhi. Then AD. AD. And then Paul George. And then and James Harden. Harden. And then Russell and Westbrook. Then, and then. Uh, yes. And then Zoo. I, I, and then somebody on the Lakers. <laughs> no, that's that's you don't believe that. Name. I don't think you believe that. Zoo is it, Zoo, at this not, point in time. I do not think you believe that. Channel. Big Zoo is no, the best way, player on the, the Lakers. Point is, the point is the point is the middle. The middle of those rosters yeah. would go to the Clippers. The middle of those rosters. Now, so then if you're like, okay, then you need your top two guys to be top two. Now we're talking about a 39 year old Bron. And we're asking an Anthony Davis, who we saw was one good game, one bad game, one good game. Now this year he's had one bad game, one bad half, and then three three straight quality games. Yeah, after that. Quality is dominant. dominant. But I, well, I'm saying for Anthony Davis, those are quality. He for wants to be dominant in the league. The year. I'm saying for he's Anthony, just Davis, he's averaging like 29 and 17. Yes, and yes, and those yeah. are what you. Those are that's dominant. Yeah, dominant. He's been dominant. Yeah. So if he can give me three good games and one bad half. I'm cool with that. I'm like, okay, if that's the case, the Anthony Davis, I, I, the reason why I was hesitant, Anthony Davis might be the best player in the series. Yeah, true. He might be the best player in the series. And if he's the best player in the series, then the Lakers are going to win that series because there is no answer. It's very similar. There's no answer for Jokic currently, right? right? He's going to be the best player in the series. They'll win that series because Braun is not going to, Braun's either going to be two or three best player in that series. So if you got one and three, then the middle of the roster doesn't matter as much unless they just fucking catch fire and two guys shoot 50% from three in that series. Like Terrence Mann shot against yeah. Utah a couple years I ago. I revised just, mine. AD would yeah, be. So that's AD so, would so, be. So, I revised mine. But yeah. I'll say, ask me this. Big <laughs> Zoo would be the third best player on the Lakers. No, no, he would be a part of the mix. I think I think on a given night, Austin Reeves, I think on a given night, it's you're going to see D'Angelo. D'Angelo had, D'Angelo had a great game last night. I'm just saying on any right. given night, it's not every time he steps out on the floor, he would be the third best player. That would not be the case. Okay. I, I like when you two talk things out. I really do. <laughs> uh, yeah. I but like, I, like no, I see your point. I see your point. I see your yeah. point. If Anthony Davis isn't the best player in the series – the middle of the roster, that Clippers start to look real tough. <laughs> if he is the best player in the series, that can negate a lot of the shit that goes on in the middle because he's playing defense, he's doing all that shit, yeah. and he's shutting down a lot of shit, and they're not eating well. I would, pay, well, I would pay good money to see that series because the, the go, ins and outs and the technicalities of that would go crazy. Yeah, oh. I agree. That was a good oh. one. Um, <laughs> where do I want to go next? Oh, dude. Uh, oh, okay. What's going on with the Suns, man? Can, can it get on the damn floor? The They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're, They're fine. cautious. They're hey. fine. You know I wish who, you guys would take that. Wait. What, you what, know what, who what, we slept what, on? Who? The fucking Kings are looking nasty. Man, the Kings are the Kings. I, Stop listen, it. They are, kings not, are the, They're nasty. No, they, don't, no the no, Kings they, no. they score, just like they did last year, but who are they stopping? Ali, don't you? You know what? You got reason to buy us because <laughs> they throw that ass off in overtime. We only have three games to go off of. What is not recency bias <laughs> oh, right I, now? Listen, I love to overreact. I'm reacting on everything. Oh man, God! Dude, how about they killing my guy Scoot? 
Uh, I c- I cannot go for that slander. What I, I again? Point guard. There are certain there are certain games that I don't. There are certain games that I don't turn on. Not yet. I They're not on the test. So <laughs> I haven't seen the Trailblazers. Uh, they look them. they look trash. Portland's one of them. I but I want to see oh, Scoot. No, I want to see Scoot. Uh, I want to see you know. Chef? I want to see the Thompson. The Thompson twins look good. Hey, no. They How look. They look. <laughs> they How look about like the they ball ball they're so skilled. Like they're great defensively, but like in transition, they got all the bounce, the passes. They got they got a lot of shit to them. And I'm just I'm cur- if they turn into scores, the other shit that they can do too. How about the little back and forth between the Joker and Chet? <laughs> love it. Love it. The Joker does not care. I love it. I love no, Chet. Chet goes, Chet's all- you got to have a little fat to get fatter. <laughs> you yeah. got to be fat to get fatter. Um, okay. Truth or trash? Steph Curry will drop 40 plus points in 10 or more games this season. Ooh. The point is, he did this seven times last year. He's done it twice already in four games this year. Damn. You know what hurts to say this? Well, I I, I want to see a clay game. I have I want to see yeah. a clay game. I don't know, like it's coming. Clay gonna I shoot know it till it's it happens. I know it's coming. It's I'm gonna, it's gonna, gonna happen. It. Okay, this is uh, neither here nor there. I think oh, no, it's okay. trash. I don't think he does it. I think it's this is this is why I'll say it's thing. trash. Because if he needs to go for 40 10 times, their team is not playing as well as they should. That means there's guys not playing well. Right there's a, because when the Warriors are playing well, Steph might not play much in the fourth. Stuff like that. He's got so seventy eight he, more tries at eight attempts at forty points a game when he can single handedly get you over half of that and a half. But think about uh, with his how eyes closed. good. Think about how yeah, but he didn't good. do it. He didn't do it last year. But he didn't do it last year. And the West is better. I'm just saying what, no, the West is better this year, which I, makes my, me wonder if he's going to need to do it. Well, okay, that's the thing. I, I think that their team is good enough, and I think with the with the Chris Paul minutes that will actually keep him off the court and and trying to conserve him, right? Even if that's five minutes a night that they weren't able to keep him off, and when he would come in the game, he would just get into the flow state and try and start shooting and doing what he does. At least with Chris, there's management. It's like okay, now we're up by you know we're up by ten instead of down by one. When I come back into the game, that's a different type of mindset. So I think that their team will be better, but is he capable of it? Damn right. If he did it, would I be surprised? Hell no, absolutely not. But I would say that that would be an indicator that we didn't get a lot of clay games, that guys were banged up and he was forced to do more. Like he had that 50 ball, right? He had that, um, he had 50 and they lost it. Was it 50 and they lost 40 and they lost? In, in that Sacramento game where he was forced to do like a hundred pick and rolls and all this other shit, like that shit, no, nah, that shit ain't fun. No, it ain't so fun. he can, it just hopefully they don't need him to, I guess is what I'm saying. Hey, Road Trippers, the season has tipped off and is in full swing. Are you using the sleeper app for daily fantasy basketball? We are. You watch and listen to the podcast and Rich and Channing have made their sleeper picks of the week. So get some skin in the game and start playing fantasy basketball on the sleeper app. Turn your basketball knowledge into real money with the Sleeper app. It's the ultimate fantasy sports app that can turn game day into payday. Just download the Sleeper app and pick more or less on your favorite players. With more stats than any other fantasy app, just choose two or more of your favorite players from either pregame or live. It's as easy as that. Again, pick more or less from the predicted stats and you could win up to 100 times your money if your picks win. Download and sign up on the Sleeper app today. Use our promo code ROADTRIPPIN and you'll get up to $100 $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. Sleeper is currently operational in over 25 states. Check out Sleeper today. Okay, um, I have a truth or trash for you guys right now. Way too early Ooh. truth or trash. Is Jalen Duran an all-star? For the Detroit Pistons. Think about bigs in the, West, in the East. No. Ooh. No. No. He's a really good player. <laughs> Who is he going to beat? Beat out. Uh, if Toronto keeps playing shit. It's posi- and Toronto. it's positionless. And it's positionless. There, there's no more bigs. <laughs> oh, more bigs. It's positionless. So you got to say Bam and Bede, Giannis are glocks. Those Brooke. Are- I'm just saying next year. Brooke, Brooke Porzingis. Porzingis right oh, now. Porzingis, oh, maybe. Oh. Yep. There's the Jared Allen. There's the Evan Mobley. 
Uh, Evan Mobley, no, I don't think, dude. I'm not. No, Evan Mobley, like they just lost. They just lost, but Evan had like 30 and 15. No, I'm saying I don't think that he's going to be an All Star this year. Okay, that's my point. But I do like what Detroit is doing. Them boys beat. No, them. I do. Yeah, no, no, they're they're cage wins balling. and losses. You can look at certain teams and did they practice what they're doing and just how they're going to develop? And I know this is way too early, so I'll probably jump off that train as soon as they lose ten in a row. But Gabe Cunningham or. Yeah, and Orlando looks like one of those teams. If we're talking about those middle teams, no. there, Orlando looks like one of those teams. Like a lot of people were saying, I think their win loss was like thirty eight yeah. or something, and it's like they won thirty five last year. Shut up! They're like, fun to watch. Dude, yeah, they, and it, they like they compete every. I'm trying to figure out Jalen Suggs right now. He just like, yeah, he's year? like a Marcus Smart, where it's like yeah. he's a good defensive player. He's probably a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end than you would actually like. <laughs> but, you know, no, because he's not a dead-eye shooter, but he, yeah. like, makes plays. He's all over he the place. He like, the shots he needs to, but he shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's like Marcus Smart. Like, remember, like, Marcus Smart, he has turned into a much better shooter. We almost had a perfect conference record and Marcus Smart out of nowhere just wants to hit like five threes and a half and shit. And so it's just like, come on. Right. And so I, I think he just has, I think he's going to evolve into a Marcus Smart type player and that can take some time okay. or, or but defensively and his activity. Oh, you love him on the court. Okay. Truth or trash. Washington wins 23 games. <laughs> Hey, I watched them. Boys yeah, they'll win. Said, hey, they'll yo, win. What? They win. They they got they got Kuzma. They got what? They got Kuzma. <laughs> okay, come on. They got on, Jordan bro. Poole. Come on, no, bro. I think, okay, okay, wait. Kuzma's <laughs> worth five wins. Poole's worth five wins. That's ten. Who else? They, they got. They got. They got. Kisper. Uh, no, Kisper. He got sixty-eight he was, tries he, to get fifteen more wins. <laughs> I think so. I think they get. I think Allie, get. please I, watch one Wizards game right now. Now uh, maybe this is Jordan the early Poole, week. Jordan Poole misbehaving. Jordan Poole is misbehaving. It's, like, and it I'll, is disrespect. He out here. Ha! He just looking around, right right looking at other stuff. Like, bro, you can't. Come on. Like that's. I'm telling you, Jordan Poole is that kid that left home and went to college and starting to act out. Like yeah. he's starting to act out. Like, bro, come on. Okay, name me. Oh God, Houston looks trash, Richard. I've been give waiting. It time, for that. Give it time. Ooh, give it time. Ooh. Give it time. I think I get the rhythm. Browns, he, listen, he get, yeah. He, he may go like, whip him in the shape. Don't forget. Don't forget the Boston Celtics and Emay's first year. They didn't take off until December. Fuck you. You're so mad oh, wait, about wait, that. Wait, He's wait. so mad. You gotta wait. You gotta wait, bitch. You gotta wait. Dude, the to talent of down. that Boston team versus the talent of Houston. You're tripping. Yeah, but the expectations are not conference finals. The expectations are playing. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think that like he's gonna browbeat them with that brow and to get them into be if they win eight more games next year, they're still gonna end up with the, the sixth pick. How much time are you giving the Memphis Grizzlies? Oh, 20, 80, 50 games? Bro, bro. That ain't it. <laughs> bro. <laughs> they are missing so much. They're missing Steven Adams. Dude. They're missing Brandon Clark. They're Vooch. trying to integrate players. They should but, go get Vooch. Oh. It would be huge for them. Skill guy. Yeah, he can make shots, too. Make shots. I'll be, you know what, Channing? Channing, Channing Jowski. Probably, yeah, well done. Well Look done. Channing Jowski. Well done. We only have a couple more minutes, so can we finish on some fun things? Yep. Yes. Uh, speaking of truth or trash, this is for Rich, but you can have an opinion, Channing. It's Movember, obviously, where men grow mustaches to align with mental well-being, suicide prevention, and cancer prevention. So, Rich, truth or trash, you have and can grow a mustache. Oh, I've grown a mustache many times. I have grown a mustache many years. Uh, it would turn out bright red, so I just decided. You have a mustache, dude. It looks we, wild. You've had yeah. a mustache? Uh, no, I didn't. When I was in Richard, college, do you want to grow like, it? I, when I was in, co- when I was in college, it. I had a little goatee, like a little this, and then people would because it was in the sun so much, and I was red, so it would get bright red. So I would have to fucking explain it to everyone. So I was like, "Fuck this shit!" So I just shaved it, and then after that, I just kept it because I just didn't never wanted to explain why my fucking goatee was fucking red. There's this thing called dye. Renee the Bite. Yeah, man, yeah, I don't know black man dying. I know 21 year old dying, 17 year old, 19 year old dying. No, I meant now. Dude, you could do it no. Now. I might no, do so mustache I just, right now. Now, no. 
So, and then I realized how stunningly handsome my face was. Wow. How perfectly shaped it was and my cheekbones. And it was just like, why hide my this? My see, see, a lot of men get the beard so they can shape their face, right? Like, you know, they're the guys that are ugly without their beard. See, me, it's like, this is the contour that they're looking for. So it was like, why hide this behind any sort of beard or facial hair? Channing, like, get your friend. Get your I friend. know. Rich, are you, would you do it this month, Richard? No. Would you do it wow. for, for charity? I did it for Luke. I did it for Luke's Dirty 30. I, 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 I grew on a goatee and then did like handlebar mustaches for his Dirty Sick. 30. Sick. Dude, Richard, that, listen, who mustache. doesn't like who doesn't like rides? Who doesn't like mustache rides? <laughs> Okay, that's a whole nother conversation. We can go there next. Uh, truth or trash, I'm here for candy corn. That's the worst shit ever. If you give me candy <laughs> corn, look. Have you ever put it with nuts? Shit at it. Uh, cocktail peanuts? Nuts? Cocktail nuts. <laughs> Allie, your sexual innuendo. Let, let me, no, let, so let, me say, no. let me say. Let me say. Cocktail nuts. If you can eat candy corn and not be depressed and reevaluate your life, you, because this is what I'm saying. You're, you're a reptile. Eating candy corn, you're eating candy corn because there's nothing else left. That, no, you're, that's not true. If I put candy corn with cocktail peanuts on your coffee table, I guarantee you, you will find yourself sitting there like you would when you crack open pistachios. I no, guarantee you. Eh, eh, yes, eh, I, yes, it would. Eh. I actually have been chasing my shots of alcohol with candy corn. <laughs> Maybe you need to lay off the booze. That's nasty. Yeah, that shit that <laughs> will sterilize your mouth. After you eat that cornstarch can candy Allie, you corn. You might as well eat this. Yeah, yeah it's like it's literally it's, it's, it's literally just it's like it's mouthwash. Candy. You can taste Next that. Next black I licorice. Candy oh. corn is the worst. You guys, oh. when we did our Arizona event, they asked us for our snacks. I I requested black licorice. Okay. Oh. You know what? Black licorice is oh. the worst. By the way. Licorice sucks. Red vines. It's red vines over licorice. Uh, I'm what? Red vines is more nostalgic, but give me some Twizzlers, dog. I'm fucking. Oh up Twizzlers no, now. that Twizzlers come in into this like plastic. It's like a, a bin of plastic. So wait, what does a red vine come in? A, a, no, I'm talking about the individual in a, wraps. Uh, the condo. individual wraps. The individual a paper wraps. a paper carton. No, it does oh. not. Red vines. Red vines do. A, it's that little. It cart. comes in a licorice dong bag. That's what it comes. In. Dong bag. All I heard was dong. Um, I I don't know what this is. Truth or trash? I would drink a <laughs> dollarita. Ooh, a dollarita. From, What's a dollarita? Fuck yeah. yeah, it's like a margarita, and they put a beer in it. If I'm, if I'm. No, like a, a dollarita like, is a butter. dollar margarita at um Applebee's. Fools, have y'all not? Uh, I was thinking of michelada. I was thinking. Of we need to go there. They're Did not, you guys agree listen, with the list? The sugar content, your headache is going to be next fucking. I'll drink level. it. I I have well, drink no it too. For a dollar. I'm not. I'm not. I fuck up some Applebee's. I got like, five. Okay, so would you guys go on a first date? Did you see the list of the yeah. women who said that they wouldn't go on a first date with? I took. I took. I took. I took. I took, oh, yeah. I, took I took a young lady to Olive Garden before. Uh, I would have I, gone to six of the top ten. I, like I've t I've taken a date in 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 like in the NBA in my thirties to Olive Garden. How much money did you spend? It didn't matter. It was breadsticks. It was the sauce. Like I was I would wanted that. It was like chanting some on nostalgia. I was like God. Oh, so, so the date wasn't about her. It was about you. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, you know, it's yes. Yeah, so it was it was like hey, the breadsticks. You see the commercial. And you're like, you know, it'd be good. How much is some Olive Garden? <laughs> Let's just go get the white sauce, the yeah, red you, sauce, the You didn't get stick. no buns because your stomach was toe up afterwards. You had to. Go I don't care. I, it wasn't about. Oh. It wasn't about anything other than getting the breadsticks and getting the the either the chicken Alfredo or the lasagna. It was just. I'm gonna mm. say this right now. That Applebee's all you can eat riblet chicken tenders and nacho. Platter. You know it's not. You know it's not ribs. Riblet. I don't give a fuck. It was like two dollars. Oh my god! I'm messing with you. I don't. The girl. You got to be hungry. Come hungry. We gonna eat. Have a couple of drinks. Oh. I want to know about you. Oh, some popcorn shrimp. Some oh. some sizzle. Now, now you're talking about your tummy gonna be hurt. Wait, what you know? What you know about uh, Bill Johnson's Big Apple? Stop what you know it. about? No, what you know about the Big Apple? It. So, What's the big apple? Arizona, Enlighten us. Arizona Steak Place. Arizona oh. Steak Place. They're like, you need some rattlesnake? I'm like, yes. I don't want no. seven. A fucking seven. Why would I want rattlesnake? Because <laughs> you're in Arizona. 
It's also true. Uh. When Allie was walking to Arizona, she was like, I was talking to the uh, talking to the boys, and she was like, "You know a lot about." I was like, "Well, when you live in the desert, they teach you about rattle rattlesnakes and Gila monsters and scorpions and all that. That's what they teach you." About. And yeah, and you better that. like like because the kids were you know up at uh, pa, where it was it La Paloma, they were like running through the bushes. I'm like, "Boy, you could better get out them bushes." No, you don't know. If you play in those golf bushes. in Arizona. If that golf ball goes into rocks, that's the rocks yeah. golf ball. Yeah, everyone's just kicking things, way trying oh, to hear. Oh, really? Cactus yeah. jump. Hell There's yeah. jumping. You're cactus. in the. You are Out in the desert. Your you are in the desert. Like there is no. There's no better way to describe that. Like there's there's hawks took one of my parents' dogs one time. <laughs> What? I swear, my parents. My parents had three Yorkies. My parents live out in Fountain Hills. Had three Yorkies, and if there's hawks flying, like you know, they call, "Hey, can you bring the dogs in?" My dad was like, "Okay." My dad went out there. One, of, one of them was gone. I promise you. Fr there's hawks that are have. Channing had a hawk in his house one fucking time. <laughs> I Remember did. Channing? I swear to you. <laughs> you I, had a I hawk? Was no, yes. I was walking. I kid you not. I was walking into his backyard. And it looked like it. Sometimes people will have like fake like birds and shit just to like ward off other things. All of a sudden, I walk. I was like, oh, I was fake. And all of a sudden, you hear. Whoa. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? This hawk had to be it was four, big. three, three and a half feet big. Did you and know? Like, yeah, we've been trying to. Yeah. We've been trying to get and rid of that the hawk. It tried to get rid of. It tried to eat my bulldog, Milton. I told you. I the motherfucker had to put him in the house. They, it yes. Was no joke. Not including bobcats. Right yeah. or coyotes like, no, or javelinas. No, you can see no the, the javelinas in Tucson. There's a lot. We don't get javelinas as much in Phoenix, but in Tucson, there's tons of wild pigs. So when you have like, I can fuck with a wild pig. No, no, no. Yeah, but no, 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 no when no, you these have no, these, well, these are boars. These are fucking. <laughs> man, these are not like porkies, motherfuckers. They're like fast and shit. <laughs> but like, these, like, if you have pumpkins on your front lawn, you're supposed to bring them in because they will come and then you'll just find them just grubbing on pumpkins in your front lawn. Oh my god! Oh yeah, hawks! Hawks! Like they literally killed one of my parents' dogs. Was, yeah, got us. I told him flew in, got him, and then fuck! I promise you, my dad was broken up for like months over it because he felt. Oh, I would be too. Yeah, Ellie, well, you eat raccoon up and. Channing, you yeah, got, you that, got people out here thinking that I'm a fucking. Hick. Hick. <laughs> I hate both of you. That's another edition of Road Tripping. I'm done with y'all. <laughs>